Hi everyone. Welcome to the Building Point Australia SketchUp Place. In today's video, we're going to talk about manipulating shadows in the Entity Info window. The Entity Info is located in the default tray. For PC users, you can find it under Window, Default Tray. And for Mac users, you can find it under Window. The Entity Info is a place where you can control or manipulate attributes of your elements in a SketchUp. Everything that you draw in a SketchUp, whether it's a line, a surface, solid, has a series of attributes that can be controlled in this area. Once the entity is selected, in this case, I'm going to select this cylinder. Once the entity is selected, you can see all the attributes and all the information about this particular element. You can toggle on and off different options. And in this case, or for this video, we're going to talk about the shadows option, receiving and casting shadows. So I'm going to talk, I'm going to turn my shadows on and notice that both elements are receiving shadows and casting shadows. But if I click on one of those, I can say, I can toggle on and off the receiving option the receiving shadows option in the same way i can toggle on and off the casting shadows this is up to you or whatever you're doing but this is very powerful tool in order to enhance the look of your perspectives presentations and even animations let me demonstrate with an example I have drawn this model is the model of a reception area. And look at, at the moment, it looks a little bit flat. It, it looks dark even. So what I'm gonna do is turn the shadows on uh, and it's gonna look a little bit brighter. It looks a little bit better, but still, I don't have any windows or anything like that, that show, to show uh, the light coming through. And the reason why is because there's a ceiling. So what I can do is click on the ceiling and toggle the shadows off and say, don't cast shadows. And by doing that, I can see, even though the ceiling is still there, the light is coming through, allowing the other elements to receive the light and to cast the shadows. And obviously it gives you a much better result whether it's, you're going to export this as a J, JPEG or whether you're going to send it to layout, it definitely is going to give you a much better result. I hope you find this useful, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.